Have you ever wondered if parasites can appear in cetaceans? What are they like? Parasites can occur within cetaceans, externally, or internally. This is a photo of me performing a post-mortem examination on a cetacean. In this photo, I am observing the parasitic organisms within the ear bones of the specimen. In this video, I will be introducing you to the three coolest parasites found within cetaceans. Number 1. Crassicata bupis A nematode called Crassicata bupis is one of the largest parasites that have been found within cetaceans, including the fin whale. The female worms can grow up to 7 meters long. That is around the length of the average car. Males have been found with their head end in the kidneys and their tail end in the urethra. The female head end was found within the blood system in the region of the liver. The worm extends through the hepatic portal vein to the vena cava and renal artery, then passes into the kidney. It then continues backwards to the urethra to the end close to the tails of male worms. Number 2. Bulbosoma capitatum Bulbosoma capitatum is a parasite that belongs to a group called Acanthocephala. All Acanthocephalans have an amazing feature called the proboscis. They have a proboscis that can be hidden within their bodies. When it reveals or unfolds outward, you can see a long tube covered with many tiny thorns. This thorny-headed worm uses its thorns to attach itself onto the walls within its host's intestine. Wow. Isn't that amazing? It has been found within the common porpoise and other larger odontoses, including the long-finned pilot whale, sperm whale, and false killer whale. Finally, number three, Stenurus minor. Stenurus minor is a nematode that was discovered in many common porpoises. It occurs in very large numbers. 1,500 in a single host, with the vast majority of them recovered from the tympanic boule. That's a lot. It is a causative agent of sternerosis, which causes pathological and anatomical changes to the auditory organs. Specimens of related parasites extracted from pilot whales Hello. occur within the head sinuses and middle ear, but not in the inner ear where their ultrasonic echoes of their sonar are detected. They are a possible cause of mass strandings on the eastern coast of the USA and of the death and stranding of the porpoises in the Black Sea during the time period 1990 to 1994. Parasites are amazing, mysterious, and beautiful creatures. They can come in all sorts of incredible shapes and sizes that help them thrive in their environments. Although they may seem to be cause of agents to serious infections, they are still an important part of the biosphere. Some parasites won't harm their hosts because this prolongs a period during which parasites can obtain benefits from their hosts. Wow. They can regulate host population sizes, affect their host's fitness, sometimes making them worse or actually improving their immune systems, as well as affect trophic interactions and food webs in the biodiversity in an ecosystem. Every creature has their own special role in their ecosystem. Thank you all so much for watching. Our parasite adventure will end here for now.